Namaste everyone! This is SB. Welcome back to another video. And today's video, I'm going to show you fast and easy way on how to solve a square root. So let's start! Our topic for today is how to solve a square root without using your calculator. So I'm going to show you a very easy and simple trick on how to solve the square root. In solving a square root, it is very important that we know the perfect square. So the perfect square are 1 square is equal to 1, 2 square is equal to 4, 3 square is equal to 9, 4 square is equal to 16, 5 square is equal to 25, 6 square is equal to 36, 7 square is equal to 49, 80 square is equal to 64, 90 square is equal to 81, and 10 square is equal to 100. So this is the basic on how to solve the square root. Okay, so let's have a little bit higher number. Let's have by 5. Okay, so we have 5 square. Okay, so by 5 we have 15 square, 25 square, 35 square, 45 squared, 55 squared, 65 squared, 75 squared, 85 squared, and 95 squared. Okay, so if you'll notice here, they all have 5 square at the end. Okay, so it's so simple. So 5 squared is 25. So meaning to say, we are going to write down 25 all the way down first. Okay, next, we have 15 square. Okay, so how do we know the value of 15 square without using a calculator? It's very simple. So we are going to multiply 1 to the next number. So 1 and the next number is 2. Okay, so 1 times 2, we get 2. So meaning to say... 15 square is equal to 225. And then next, we're going to multiply 2 to the next number, which is 3. So 2 times 3, we got 6. So meaning to say 25 square is equal to 625. And then next, 35 square. So we're going to multiply 3 to the next number. So, 3 times 4, we got 12. So, 35 square is equal to 1,225. And then next, we're going to multiply 4 to the next number, which is 5. So, 4 times 5, that will be 20. Okay, next, 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Okay, next, 6 times 7. 6 times 7 is equal to 42. And then next, 7 times 8. 7 times 8 is equal to 56. Then next, 8 times 9. 8 times 9 is equal to 72. And then, 9 times, what is the next number? The next number is 10. So, 9 times 10 is equal to 90. So, meaning to say 95 squared is equal to 9,025. Okay, so you see, we solved this squared without using a calculator. Now, we are going to try to solve square root. So, we are going to try this first example that we have. Okay, square root of 
2704. Okay, so how are we going to solve this one without using our calculator? It's very easy and I'm going to show you how. Okay, so first, we are going to divide this one into two parts. Okay, so this is the first part and this is the second part. Okay, in the first part, that is 27, so we are going to look at the perfect square that we have, 27 here. So it is in between 25 and 36, but we are going to get the number that is less than 27 or equal to 27. So that is 25. Okay, so but we're not going to get 25. So what are we going to get is the 5 in here. So I'm going to write down here 5. And then we're going to see the second part. But the second part, we're going to look at the last number. Just the last number. So the last number is 4. So we have 4 here. Okay. And then we also have 4 out here, which is the 8 square. Okay, so we have two possible answers. This is the first possible answer and the second possible answer. We are not going to get 64 and 4. What we are going to get is instead of 4, we are going to get the 2 here. So we have 2 and then the other one is 8. So meaning to say we have two possible answers which is 52 or 58. So what do we think would be the answer? Okay, so if we're going to look at 55 squared, 55 squared is 3,025, okay? And this one is 2,704. So if we're going to get 58, it is more than 3,025. So we cannot get this one. So meaning to say... Our final answer is 52. Okay, so this is our final answer. And if you want to check your answer, if it is correct or not, we can use a calculator to check if our answer is correct or not. Okay, so we have a square root of 2704. Okay, so we got 52, meaning to say our answer is correct. Okay, so we got the answer without using a calculator. Okay, so let's try another one. We're going to get the square root of 1,156. So the same process. We are going to divide this one into two. Okay, so we have the first part, we got 11, so 9. Okay, instead of writing 9, we're not going to write down that, but we're going to write down 3. So, 3, and then the last number is 6. Okay, the last number is 6. So, we got, we got two possible answer, which is 4 is squared and 6 is squared. Okay, so we are going to write down 4, okay, and 6. So either 34 or 36. By looking at the 35 square here, so 35 squared is equal to 1,225. It is more than 1,156. So we know that the answer must be less than 35, which is 34. So our final answer is 34. It's easy, right? Okay, so let's have another one. Okay, so let's find the square root of 5,929. The same process, we are going to divide this one into two parts. Okay, in the first part, we got 59, so we have 7 squared. We got 7 here. And then, the last number is 9. Okay, so we have... Two possible answer, which is 3 squared and 7 squared. Okay, so we have 3 and 7. 
So, the possible answer is 73 or 77. Okay, so let's look at this 75 squared in here. Okay, 75 squared is 5,625. So, meaning to say, we need to get more than 75 squared, which is 77. So, meaning to say, our final answer is 77. Let's have another one. Square root of 8,649. Then we have another one here. Square root of 7,225. Okay, it's time to test yourself. If you do understand our lesson for today or not, you can pause the video and answer the last two examples. And then if you are done, you can play the video to check if you got the correct answer. Okay, so if you get the correct answer, meaning to say you understand our lesson. Thanks for watching and I hope you understand our lesson for today. And please don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel to be updated on my next video. See you on my next video. Bye-bye!